Today I'm making refrigerator oatmeal, also known as overnight oatmeal, and I'm making this in plastic cups. Normally the recommended method is to use half pint jars, which are of course reusable and don't leach plastic chemicals into your food, but I actually need to get some more half pint jars so I have enough around. And these are handy because you don't have to do dishes afterwards. You can just grab them, you can take them in the car with you, throw them out when you eat when you get there, after you eat your food. It's convenient. Today I'm making banana peanut butter refrigerator oatmeal. You can use lots of different kinds of flavor variations in this and experiment as you get used to it. So I'm putting half a banana in the bottom of each of these cups. It should be about a quarter cup of banana. I had a rather large banana, so I'm just still going with half a banana each because more banana is not worse. And I like to put the fruit in first because that way, if it doesn't quite get mixed up all the way, there's still some good stuff at the bottom. And then I'm adding a quarter of a cup of oats to each of these cups. And these are quick oats. Rolled oats should do just as well, and I have even heard of people using steel cut oats for this. That seems to me like it would be a little chewy, but I guess people make that work, so it's worth a shot. And then I am adding half a cup of kefir to each of these cups. Standard recipes call for, I think it's a third of a cup of milk and a quarter cup of yogurt. So I'm adjusting that a little bit to what I have on hand at the moment, which is kefir. Now, in this recipe, the oats do get soaked overnight, which cannot be a bad thing, I wouldn't think, for oats. But I do need to warn you that this does not actually reduce the phytic acid that much in oats. Oats don't contain enough phytase to pre-digest the phytic acid for you unless you add a little bit of wheat flour or rye flour to them. So it only help, helps so much with the digestibility, but you are getting good probiotics soaked in there. And my husband does not really like normal cooked oatmeal, and he enjoys refrigerator oatmeal. So you have that plus. It's got a better texture for people who have oatmeal issues. I'm adding half a tablespoon of chia to each cup. You can try substituting flaxseed if you don't have chia around, but I really recommend chia for the health benefits and because they have a better gelling power for the texture of this particular dish. And then officially, I'm putting a tablespoon of peanut butter in each cup. Actually, I'm probably gonna end up with more like two tablespoons because more protein in the oatmeal and more peanut butter flavor is a good thing around here. And then the last step, which is optional, is to add a little squirt of honey. And I am adding honey because anything that will make my husband happier eating healthy breakfast foods, I will do, especially if it's a healthy sweetener like honey, which is just adding more nutrients to the mix anyway. So that's probably a teaspoon and a half of honey in each cup there. And then I'm just going to stir these up, and then I'm going to put them in the refrigerator overnight. You can store them for a couple of days, probably up to a week for some of them, but the banana ones I definitely wouldn't store more than a couple of days because the bananas will probably start to get slimy quicker than that. And you can try this with some cooked apples and cinnamon for flavoring, or you can do blueberries and maple syrup. There's all kinds of flavor options. You could even really just do a little bit of your favorite jam in there with the oats and kefir and chia. And there you have it. Handy, portable, healthy refrigerator oatmeal for breakfast.